Hi guys, welcome again to Twin Tip. My name is Twin. Thanks a lot for joining me today. And um, before I even proceed, just in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe link below the video and also click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications when all my videos are posted. Thanks a lot. Now, let's get into the swing of things. So, the question on my mind today is why are men intimidated by successful women? I think this is a question that a lot of us would have maybe bounced back and forth with our friends over the past few years over time but um i just want to give my own take on it today so some time ago i was reading a story where the writer was telling us about her friend who was in her early 40s she was a ceo at her job really doing well she's really done well in her career but she just had a problem of not being able to find the right person to pair up with as a partner or as a couple she just wasn't really doing well in the relationship front all right so a colleague of that lady's uh, then suggested to her to register on a dating uh, online dating website which after much consideration the lady agreed to do so she went on there she registered she put her picture up she put her name her age her job and obviously auntie puts that she is a ceo okay <laughs> i don't blame her it is what it is at the end of the day so anyways after about a few weeks, I think she had only received like a handful of interest and most of them were not really a good fit for her. Um, so she thought maybe if she switched things around a little bit, maybe she might just get lucky. So obviously she left her age, she left the picture the way it is. And, um, but the most important thing that she did was she changed her occupation to teacher and uh, she changed her salary range as well to like teacher salary and all of that and she left every other thing as they are okay and uh, just within a few days she got loads and loads and loads of interest it was obvious that it was because she changed she kind of reduced her standards she lowered her salary she changed her occupation from ceo in whatever she does to a teacher and i mean it's it's quite sad when you think about it i'm sure they were like this is a no-go area this one is too much for me you know let's just <laughs> let's move it along quickly to the next person <laughs> a woman shouldn't be outside of anyone's league because of what she's achieved for herself she's put in the work we can't blame her for that it doesn't mean that she doesn't want companionship okay let's just backtrack a little bit here in history right can we admit that we've lived we've always lived in a patriarchal society where men are always deemed to be the ones to go out and do stuff for the family they're the ones who go out to bring the bread to the table to fend for the family go out to work even from the caveman era they're the ones who will go out to kill the animals and bring food um i don't know bring wood for making the fire doing the stone cutting and whatever else that men needed to do that were like heavy duty stuff that were deemed to be heavy duty stuff all right whilst the women would just normally stay in the house to, you know, cook whatever the man brings back home, look after the children, look after the family all together, make sure that everyone is fine. Just basically seeing to the smooth running of the home behind the scenes, making sure that everyone's welfare is well taken care of. We may no longer be in the stone ages, but the culture has been passed down over the years. And even in modern times, men are still deemed to be the ones to go out to do stuff for the family, you know, uh, make sure the family is catered for financially, making sure that they, they are the ones that do all the hard grafting and all of that, while the women stay back at home to just make sure that everyone's well-being is looked after, cook for the kids, cook for the husband, do the um, shopping, and just basically make sure that she runs the home from behind the scenes. So it's kind of always been unacceptable for a woman to do a man's job or a job that is deemed to be for men, let alone be as successful as a man in that same position or in that same job or career or aspect of life. But further down the years, there started to be a paradigm shift in gender roles. So the widely accepted and unwritten code and assumption that some roles were strictly reserved for men started to change there's been a wave of revolution around the empowerment of women over the past 60 years which has brought about change albeit gradually so that women who have typically been reliant on men for their economic needs have now been you know taking control of their own economic fate to the extent that they're now claiming that they don't need men okay so let me say this there are genuinely some categories of women who say they don't need men like the lesbians or 
just some women who are generally opposed to men all right and it's their choice it's their decision and i respect that and i think we all should respect that as well but for the vast majority of us men we need you yes a lady might be high flying she might be doing really well in her career even better than you but at the end of the day she still needs to reproduce yeah she needs warmth she needs a happy home she needs a confidant. She needs a friend. Like the example I gave at the beginning where after the lady reduced her salary and she changed her occupation to teacher, all the men started to come over her like a swarm of bees. Now, men, let me tell you something, yeah? God didn't create women to be beneath you so that everything else she does can never measure up to yours. If that was the case, we wouldn't have women who are high-flying. We wouldn't have women who are... Who, own multinational companies we wouldn't have women who are really doing well in every aspect of their lives they would just remain i don't know below you we were created to be your helpmate to be your partner not to be beneath you or to be subdued by you when a man sees a woman or her husband sees his wife as beneath him he is either ignorantly or inadvertently suppressing the blessings that he could be sharing with that woman Sometimes the woman is the brains behind the success of a man, but nobody knows it but the two of them. And there's nothing wrong with that. The wisest men are the ones that recognize that a woman has her own gifts and talents, that if or when nourished would not be just for her own good. It would be for his good and the entire family. I know that a man's pride lies in the fact that he can successfully provide for his family, take care of his family, whatever. But a lot of men currently have and will have women in their life that are doing a lot better than the man will ever do in his life. The truth is, God knew she was a woman before he blessed her, before he prospered her in all that she was doing. All right? So the wisest man is the one that is happy to support her, happy to help her so that she doesn't fail or fall in whatever she does. And to be honest, the wisest women are the ones that appreciate and honor such men in return. It's not easy for a man's ego to be suppressed. So let me tell you this, success and prosperity have no gender. So men, rather than nurturing a competitive spirit or an envious spirit against a woman, so why don't you just put your pride aside, as hard as it may be, and go for that woman, whatever she may be, whatever position she may hold in a company, whatever high-flying position she may have in life, in her career, whatever, just put your pride aside and go for it she might just be that woman that you're destined to spend the rest of your life with you never know how are you gonna know if you don't find out and also this is for the women and see with the shoulder pad <laughs> you're looking for your husband but your shoulders are like this how much do you earn how much are you worth i don't like that one. Oh, it's not my type oh no 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 i've been through a lot in life i didn't get to this position in my career only to end up with that kind of i don't know trash auntie you will end up in the trash if you continue like that. Anyway, guys, that's my message for today. Men, if you like her, go for it and shoot your shots. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe link below the video and like and share the video with your family and friends. In the meantime, I will see you next time. Enjoy your week. Bye.